guys welcome to another video by me and this is another type of video because what we're doing today is going to, I'm going to be showing you how to install Mac OS X Mavericks on a virtual machine on Windows so uh, yes full cre this is Mavericks 10.9 released at Apple's WWDC uh, but full credit of this video goes to Mr. Zach uh, I don't know how to say his name but it's Zach I've got the link in the description to his uh, channel uh, full credit goes out to him for this so yes let's get into it so this is not only for intel not for amd users so for intel you can do this now but for amd you can't uh, but there might be supporting the final version of mavericks when that comes out for the, uh, your virtual machine uh, this also like got the mac set up on so it's not just like gonna come up with like the, the desktop it's, it's actually uh, uh, you can install it it's like an installation uh, so yeah, what you have to do is you have to go to the link in the description, uh, which takes you to this website here, and uh, so yeah, uh, go to the link in the description, download the file, uh, it's a torrent file, and it is 4.5 gigabytes, so it will take time, uh, maybe a few hours or so, uh, depending on your internet speed, but uh, yeah, download that, uh, link in the description for that, and if you don't have a torrent client, torrent client like uTorrent I'll get that for you uh, a link in there in the description for you for that as well so after you've downloaded uh, your files you will have uh, like a 7-zip a, a extraction file so also before you extract you can do this 7-zip extractor which came with it and uh, you uh, run that command and it un uh, unzips the 7-zip file so instead of actually downloading the 7-zip uh, program you can just click that extractor there so all you have to do is just run that uh, run that command there and it will un uh, unzip it so once it's extracted you should get these files here so these ones uh, well that, that that and that you should get them and you should get this folder uh, and in this folder you have three folders so I'm just going to start off by explaining what these are. So the hardware virtualization bypasser. Uh, some computers have something called hardware virtualization, which allows them to uh, virtualize hardware. Uh, if some computers won't have it, so they get an error. So if you run this bypasser, uh, you get your uh, hardware virtual virtualization bypasser. Uh, I might link a tutorial on how to do that by someone else, but uh, yeah. But yeah, that's the hardware virtualization bypasser. Now, this is what everyone has to do: is your VMware Unlocker guest. So you do that, and you double-click on it, yeah, and uh, you get more folders. So, like for your version. So if you're using VMware Workstation, do, uh, click that, and you can click that install there, or you can uh, press Shift, right-click, open command window here, and type in install.cmd press it and it'll do a lot of processes and then it'll say it's finished cross off that and then you can do that there's a readme here that you can uh, find out uh, and how to use uh, you get that v7 version as well vmware workstation 7 so uh, or just vmware 7 but yeah so once you've done that you have uh, talked about these folders I do an in-depth video on these but uh, just stay tuned for that then if you want to know how to use them right so uh, what you want to do is you want to go into this folder here and you want to go on to your uh, VMX file with the the blue squares and double click on that and it should open so when it's opened uh, you've got description down here on who to contact so him there uh, Zach I don't know his name uh, but yes and uh, you can edit and you can uh, allocate some memory I've just put like a gigabyte because that's just sensible amount to put unless you want to put more uh, process you just put one you don't need to use anything down here like display or anything uh, go to options don't change anything here uh, no I don't think it's have to change there uh, so I recommend just staying on the settings it's by default so then what you want to do is power on this virtual machine and it should uh, do it 
Now, uh, when you've powered it on, you do have to wait for a bit because it's like this with every operating system. It does take a while on the first boot, like to load, because it's doing lots of things and setting up things. So I will speed this up, and it could take around five minutes. Or I'll pause it here, and uh, I'll come back when it's uh, back. So we're about a minute into this now, and uh, it's still doing this. It could take up to five minutes, as I said, but you just have to be patient and wait. So now we have the mouse pointer up here, the Mac mouse pointer, and now we have the the Mac spinny thing, and uh, yes, it's loaded. So this is an actual Mac, so you can uh, go ahead and show where you're from. So I'll choose United Kingdom, uh, British layout, continue. Uh, no, we won't do that now. Uh, no, we won't sign in either. Just skip, skip through this. Skip. Uh, yeah, just agree to that. <laughs> uh, you create your account, so I'll just put my name. My name. And then just put my password. Type that wrong. Do the same to verify it. Uh, you don't have to put a hit on it if you don't want to. I won't do that, but I'll just keep it on my time zone. No, you don't need to do that. Click OK, skip. And this could take a bit of time. I don't know how long, but it says less than a minute. So, uh, we take it to work it. Right, so as you can see, we can start using our Mac. Just click that button there, and hopefully this will work. Uh, yes, as you can see, it's working. It's loading onto the Mavic screen. Uh, we just got off set up assist set up assistant uh, set up assistant to uh, the Finder. Just give it a while for the dock to load, and here we have the dock. So just wait, I think it's done. Go to this, no I don't think we're loading yet. Right, so we're loading now and uh, I'm just going to prove that this is Mavericks by going to about this Mac. As you can see where you're running uh, OS X version 10.9. Uh, you've got all the stuff here that we don't need to worry about. Uh, also you've got the EMBAPS icon down here and stuff like that. So this is just a video on how to get Mavericks 10.9 version on Windows. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please click this like button as I will do more on this, like maybe how to install Android, something like that. Uh, but yes, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, full credit, I said, goes to uh, the person in the description. I can't see his name. Uh, but links to everything in that in the description. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in another video.